Hi, Dr. Leona Allen here to share with you what I believe to be one of the main reasons why we see an epidemic of a lot of diseases that we see today which are now referred to as new millennium diseases. Now these are diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, chronic fatigue, ADD, cancer. I mean, there's an epidemic. Either you're dealing with it or you know someone who is dealing with one of these devastating diseases. Now, what we are finding is that there is a connection between these illnesses and inflammation. Time Magazine has referred to chronic inflammation as the silent killer. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how cellular inflammation affects our health and even leads to these diseases I just mentioned. Now, first, this is cellular inflammation, not inflammation like a sore shoulder or a swollen knee. This is inflammation or inflammation at the cellular level. So first, let's draw a healthy cell. A healthy cell has a lipid bilayer or two walls of fat. And then we have these receptors. Now, in a healthy cell, food is broken down into components that the cell can use. And each of these receptors, we have vitamin, mineral, amino acids, and hormones like insulin. Okay? The job of these receptors is to bring these nutrients into the cell. So, you eat food, it's broken down into, into these compo components, and the nutrient is brought into the cell, creates energy, or ATP, and in the process of creating energy, toxins are released, as well as other messages and antioxidants that are needed in order for the body to function properly. Now, with cellular inflammation, this cell wall or membrane is damaged or blunted, and these receptors end up dying. And when the receptors die, nutrients cannot get into the cell and toxins can't get out. And two things happen. One, the cell either dies, which leads to premature aging, or number two, that cell mutates, and we now know that to be cancer. Now, what causes cellular inflammation? The number one cause are sugars. America's addicted to sugar. We get a lot of sugar in our diet, and this goes beyond the dessert that we have after dinner. There's a lot of hidden sugars out there. It's in our breads, it's in our health foods, it's in our juices and condiments and lunch meats. We're getting way too much sugar in our diet. Now the body functions at a one-to-one -one ratio. One molecule of sugar to one uh, molecule of insulin, okay? But that is not the case. What is happening is with this intake, this excessive intake of sugar, that insulin receptor gets overworked and eventually dies. That's type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is an issue because those receptors are dying and that cell cannot hear the insulin. That insulin cannot bring that sugar into the cell to produce energy. And I do talk about that in my offices and classes as well, about how diabetes is caused by cellular inflammation. Now let me move on to the number two cause of cellular inflammation, and that's bad fats. Good fats are coconut oil, olive oil. These are all fats that actually nourish and provide a perfect environment for that cell and cell receptor. But when you eat bad fats, and these are man-made fats like margarine and canola oil, these fats are man-made because they were created and, and they promoted this fear of fat. And so they replaced, you know, a lot of people have replaced those good fats with these bad or man-made fats. 
And let me share with you what is going on with the body when you ingest these, these chemicals. What happened is the body brings in this material, but the, the, the cell membrane cannot bring it into the cell. So instead, it suffocates that cell receptor. It blunts the cell. That receptor dies. And that is what happens when you eat these bad fats. That, I mean, since they introduced these fats into the diet, there's been a, the, the incidences of heart disease has skyrocketed. Number three is toxins. Toxins are found in our food. They're the artificial flavorings. They're the food colorings. They're the um, preservatives and herbicides and pesticides that they use to grow our crops today. These are extremely toxic. And a lot of these chemicals overexcite that cell receptor to the point of death. So now, when you're getting these things into your diet, or in the environment, toxins also come from the environment, but when these things get into the body and kill these receptors, most of America looks like this. You don't have the receptors, and when you lack receptors, Nutrients cannot get in, and toxins can, cannot get out. Nothing can get out. And this cellular death is common in a lot of these new millennium diseases. And also when that cell is dying, it cannot create that major nutrient that we really need. And that's antioxidants. And I'm not referring to the acai berry and vitamin C. I'm talking about glutathione. Glutathione is produced and it's pretty expensive. It takes three ATP to create one glutathione. But if the cell is lacking healthy receptors, the nutrients cannot get into the cell to create ATP. And if you cannot create ATP, you cannot create one of the most powerful antioxidants on the planet, glutathione. And that is a reason why we're dealing with so many chronic illnesses today.